Oh, great. Why is this thing so weak for a tribute summon? Straight to defense mode? What do you do? Bum, 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 bum. I'm not drawing Hummingbird. When this card is normal, if flipped, it appears on the field in defense. As long as this card is face up on your side of the field, all your controlled Ice Barrier monsters cannot be destroyed by spell or traps. Huh. Oh! Screw off! I have Pathfinder in my hand, I just realized, so it's not that bad. I should have taken it out of my graveyard. No, I shouldn't have. I should have taken it out of my deck because I'm trying to draw the Hummingbird. Yeah, summon you. Activate you. Let's actually also discard a Black Panther. A Dark Panther, I mean. It's so easy to say Black Panther, dude. Famous superhero and all that. Then for you, ditch, ditch Neos. I'm just trying to mill my own deck to draw a Hummingbird. Because I need as much as I can get. If we lose, which we most likely will, given how our life points look right now, if we lose one of these duels, having to do four of them in, the row, in a row, I'm going to have to make a different deck. Neo deck is really fun, but betting on a Neo deck to win four consecutive duels is asking the Neo deck way too much. It's quite simply just asking it way too much. I have Monster Reborn! I should have used Prisma to ditch Hummingbird and then Monster Reborn Prisma. Or a Monster Reborn Hummingbird. And then I could have Monster Reborn it into the defense mode as well. That's what I should have done. That's what I'm going to do this next turn. Did not think of that until just now. Please, Brick, don't play anything. Don't put anything face down. Just keep those three cards in your hand. Thank you. All right, that's 1,500 life points right there. Really wish I would have drawn another hummingbird right there. Two hummingbirds would be a world of difference right now. Alright, ditch a hummingbird. Air Neos. Ditch hummingbird. The funniest thing about this is that because of hummingbird, this might be the one... Neos might be the one setup that can pull this back. <laughs> by giving me a lot of life points. Well, here's another 15 hundo. I'm actually kind of tempted to summon Flare Scarab in attack mode just to bait him into not attacking Hummingbird, but I'm just gonna, with Flare Neos being so strong, he shouldn't summon something in attack mode to attack Flare Neos, or to attack Hummingbird, I mean. That would just be stupid. Oh, son of a whore. I hate this stupid card. He can't move that into attack mode, though, because if he does, then I win by attacking with all four of these. Alright, please brick hard so that I can get more life points. I should summon Neos Alias on my turn as well, just to be safe. Let's go! That's 2,000 more life points, boys! Ooh, baby. Next turn. I'm actually astounded that Air Hummingbird is going to get me out of this. Potentially. I could still just brick the next duel and then lose anyway. Is the worst part about it. Can I be destroyed by a monster with more than 1,900? Oh, you're tuning. What could you possibly... Oh, no. This is going to get rid of um, Flare Neos, isn't it? Oh, I might have just lost. 
Oh, did you only do one? Never mind, we're probably fine then. Oh no, you do it over and over and over again. Okay, we're fine. He's stupid. If he wanted to win there, he should have kept discarding until he got rid of everything except for one monster. Because now I can just uh, bring back out Flare and Neos with Prisma. So we're fine. Another thousand life points, please. Activate you. Is this my last Neos in the deck? No, I got one more. Cool. Hopefully we draw into it for Ancient Rules. Alright, you want Flare Neos here. Not Air Neos. And then I still want to try and stall this duel out longer because I really need all the life points I can get. Also throw this down. The equip monster is removed from the field. Special summon Neos from your hand deck or graveyard. Okay, cool. That's what I thought it did. Throw down magic cylinder just to be super safe. Kill you. No more Bryonic. Alright. Now we just hope he bricks hard so I can keep humming birding. Don't. Don't attack my bird. Oh, you have United We Stand. I'm gonna have to end the duel here by magic cylindering this thing. Oh, this won't end the duel. I'll get to use, I'll get to get 500 more life points with Hummingbird, but that's it. I have to kill this thing now. Actually, he might switch to defense mode because he loses if he stays in attack mode. Oh, yes. Thank you. Risking the whole duel right now to try and get some more life points because I know I'll lose the coming duels. Alright, I just need him to draw cards that he cannot and chooses not to play. Dang it. Can I please draw the other air hummingbird? Also, now I can start destroying these cards with Flare Neos because they're not in attack mode. I couldn't do it when they were in attack mode because it would have ended the duel. And I don't want the duel to end. I want to draw more. Or not draw more, I want to activate Hummingbird more. I want him to draw more. And I have to do this every duel, by the way. I should have put seven tools face down to be safe. Oh no! It's fine, I'll be able to summon Neos here. It's not the worst thing ever. Man, why do you have to have Penguin Soldier? I actually want to potentially draw Neos for Ancient Rules. Yo, what's up? At least I destroyed that other thing before his Penguin Soldier. Oh, dude, this is going to be great. If that's Penguin Soldier face down, I'm going to get to use Hummingbird twice for a thousand each. And I've got Flare Scarab. Let's go. Activate Hummingbird. All right, now I just have to hope his AI is stupid and puts Hummingbird back in my hand. Even though he doesn't have to do two. And then Neos is going to my hand, so I can Ancient Rule. Nothing to worry about. Perfect. This is actually going super in my favor. Like, ridiculously so. Throw this down to be safe. Absolutely summon back out Hummingbird. I should be able to use his ability again? Yeah, baby. Let's go. I am getting worried at him potentially pulling out something that lets him beat me now. Oh, you can just special summon that, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, draw. There's the other hummingbird. A little late, but he's here. 
You can special summon this card from your hand if your opponent has four more controlled cards than you have than you have on your side of the field. As long as this card is face up on your side of the field, your opponent can only activate a spell or trap card once per turn. Well, lucky for me, I only want to activate one Ancient Rules. You have 2200 attack. This is perfect, actually. Ancient Rules. Neos. Summon Hummingbird. Activate both Hummingbirds for another 2,000 life points. Contact Fuse with one of the Hummingbirds, and then win the duel. What is this face down? Seven tools. I thought it might have been Magic Cylinder, and I might have tried to get cheeky and get another turn of Hummingbird, but no. All right, we got up to... We were at 2,400 life points, I think, at the start of this duel. I'm now at 10,500. So, we're still running a Neo deck. I could still just brick in the third or fourth duel and lose. I really hope that one of the duels is a speed duel for some reason, because I feel like my Uriah deck is much better than my Neos deck. But, you know, we'll see. This duel could not have gone any better, really. I just have to hope I don't get screwed on the next two. Because I really don't want to have to do this again. Because this is... By the way, let me make this clear. This is really dumb. This is really stupid. Four duels in a row with only 8,000 life points? I don't normally run decks that recover life points. This deck isn't even a deck meant to recover life points. It just happens to be something that Hummingbird can do. Just Judgment? Was this a Light Sworn deck with Judgment Dragon? Please don't be a bad starting hand. Did they cap me at 10,000 life points? Wasn't I at 10,500? Now I'm only at 10k. Yo, two aliases is a good start. Oh yeah, it's a Light Sworn deck. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, that's an incredibly good start for you. And I have like nothing in my hand to stop that, so we might have already lost. Unless this guy's Light Sworn deck is so bad that he decks himself out. During each of your in phases, send the top three cards of your deck to the grave. And then this card is just insanely... That with Foolish Burial. He, he top decks so hard for that. I'm gonna do this. To destroy whatever his face down is and put Dark Panther in defense mode. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Bottomless Trap Hole. Glad to see that gone. I'm probably going to lose three cards from the top of my deck here. Yeah, that's fine. Losing Smashing Ground kind of hurts. Oh, Cold Wave, huh? Fun. He top decked insanely well purely because of Foolish Burial, so we are probably going to lose. This four duels in a row thing, especially with shared life points throughout it, is quite possibly the worst thing I have ever seen in a Yu-Gi-Oh game, for the record. Oh, never mind, I drew Mirror Force, so we're back in it. Oh, but we're cold waved right now, so we're probably not back in it. We might still be able to bring it back. Oh cool, another Foolish Burial. Is that card's not restricted either? Is Foolish Burial not restricted in 2010 and 11? I feel like it is. This guy top decked insanely, by the way. Also, I just realized that uh, Mirror Force isn't gonna help us because he's gonna be able to use this stupid Sorceress to just destroy it. This guy top decked insanely. No, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna summon Neos Alias and destroy the the other one. But this guy's top deck is ridiculous. Oh hey, do you think that he got rid of anything really good in here that I can monster reborn? Should judgment dragon, but you can't special summon it like that. Uh, nothing very good. Neos Alias!
get punched, idiot. Playing Neo Space in case he has Mystical Space Typhoon or something. Hopefully he'll aim at Neo Space like an idiot. I can only hope. I probably should have put Monster Reborn face down too to be even more safe. Oh, never mind. He uh, drew another Judgment Dragon, so he just gets to activate Judgment Dragon and win now. Cool. Really fun card. Really fun game design. Ugh. After all that wasted time in the second duel, this is such terrible game design, dude. This is like... This this game is actually trash. Like, straight up, this right here is enough to convince me that this game sucks. Compared to, uh... I have a Prisma in my... Whatchamacallit? There's no Neospatian I can summon that can beat Judgment Dragon. Yeah, because even if I Monster Reborn back Prisma, I just get Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, which accomplishes nothing. Well, no, I can Neospace and I can tie. And we can both die, but then he probably just summons something and attacks me. the heck are you doing dude can you copy judgment oh dark panther maybe lose another thousand life points so i'm at a hundred so i can just lose the next duel anyway Anyways, uh, Stardust Accelerator sucks, by the way. No, it, like, overall, really short story mode. The, the story is barely even the story from the show because they just have you bum around with Yusei's loser friends who are barely relevant to the plot for half of the game and a bunch of random satellite people that are, like, no one you know, complete nonsense. They make you go through, so they make you do the, the you get to do the cool facility duel, and that's about it. And then, and then they're like, hey, do this tag team partner tournament out of no nowhere. By the way, you don't get any of the cool canon characters, like any of the actual main characters. You get to do the tag tournament thing with, like, some random NPC. And, and then you have to do this. So, this, this game sucks. Like, this is possibly the worst Yu-Gi-Oh game I've played. I should have just not played this game and played Reverse of Arcadia. Also, this game had the stupid stealth section. Yeah, this, this game blows. Absolutely should have just played Stardust Accelerator. Or not Stardust Accelerator, that's a game I shouldn't have played. Should have played Reverse of Arcadia. I should have just gone straight to Reverse of Arcadia, would have been way more fun. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, he had a Necro Gardener. Bum, 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 bum. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, he got Judgment Dragon back that he can just special summon and win the game with. Awesome. Incredible top deck. Dude drew literally every card he needed despite discarding half of his deck. Really cool. Dude, I don't even really want to, like, play anymore. <laughs> like, knowing that I have to sit through this garbage four duels in a row, and if you get a bad draw on literally one of them, then you effectively lose and have to restart all over again. That's such terrible game design. That's so incredibly unfun. 
if it was more like over the nexus where it le like an over the nexus you have the uh the duels where you have to do multiple in a row with the same life points but in those and over the nexus you never have to do more than three duels max also you get to start with your deck or with your field already set up with some of like jack or yusei's cards or your other team members and also you get um you get to carry over the monsters you've already played from your previous duel so like I would, for instance, after that second duel, I would have gone into the third duel having Neo space in play, having air Neos already out and a hummingbird, etc., etc. And it would have been, that would have made it fair. That would have made it doable. In this one where it's just like, hey, everything starts fresh except your life points, which basically just means you lose, you're screwed if you don't get a perfect draw four times in a row. That's, that's atrocious game design. Like, actually just terribly unfun game design. Like, it, it legitimately makes me want to quit. I don't want to play the game right now. Like, I don't want to play this game ever again. I will never play this game ever again. This is the worst Yu-Gi-Oh game I have ever played. Without a doubt. This game sucks. I am amazed that they managed to make Reverse of Arcadia and Over the Nexus, which are such very good and fun Yu-Gi-Oh games when the first game of that trilogy they did is just absolute hot garbage. Just actual trash. Um, I need a more broken deck to be able to win this. Neos, it's too possible for Neos to brick. I really like Neos and it's fun even though it can brick, but uh, you, you can't afford to brick when you have to win four duels in a row with 8,000 life points total. Like, it cannot do it. World Championship 2008 has a gauntlet of five duels with no breaks. That game also sucks. Any game that makes you do multiple duels in a row that keep your life points over, but don't give you, like, Over the Nexus does it right. The way Over the Nexus does it is fine. That's good. Any game that does it like how this game does, actual trash. Immediately takes your game to a, a two out of 10 at best. Th this game sucks. I will never play this game again for as long as I live because it is a bad game. Straight up. Like, just violently unfun. I've, I've, like, it has been a while since I have wanted to quit a game so suddenly. Like, I've, the game was, like, fine. It was good enough the entire time I was playing it, basically, other than the stealth section. The second I got to this, I'm like, dude, I don't want to play anymore. Like, I legitimately am just like, there's no fun to be had at this point of the game. There's no fun to be had at all. Did this code give me the Crystal Beasts? You can normally... The Crystal Beasts do not, in my experience, brick very often. 